Hello there, everybody. It is I, Angel Star Two Nine One, here yet again, and this time with part six of my Jack Three Let's Play. In the last part, we did a shooting game, and we uh, got in trouble in the arena and destroyed some green things. Don't know what they're called, and uh, and saw Ashlyn again and rescued her. And then we found out that there was something we had to do in the temple. So let's go do that, shall we? In this part, we're going to continue through the temple. Because I, I just said that. I don't know why I said that. Oh, you're being stupid. No shit. Couple of guys flying around. You know what to do. Just be a badass. Like always. I like to be a badass with the, with the reflector beam. Because I do that shit. <laughs> I do that shit. Seriously, I like that hold the button trick down. It's really good. What can I say? I like that trick. It's good. Not gonna lie, Alyssa, I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate you telling me this trick. It just makes it a lot easier to play the game. Like, a oh, shit ton easier. Holy shit. There we go, you filled up in Dark Geek on shit. Seriously, you're gonna see me use the reflector quite a bit. Like, not just a little bit. You guys are gonna see me use that thing a lot. Because it's awesome! There are no bad guys here, so you can pretty much walk around anywhere. There's a door here somewhere. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there was something else here, like more va vases or vases or whatever. I call them vases. Sue me! Can't press that button. So, it's this door. Yep. Now we're getting somewhere. That's the ticket. Who knew that that seal opened a secret door? Oh, sorry. Didn't have the reflector on! Didn't have the reflector on. Seriously, you guys are gonna see me use this thing like crazy. You guys are gonna see me use that thing like crazy. So I love it! It's awesome! <laughs> Seriously, the reflector's awesome. I'm sorry. Uh, I think, yeah, more skull jam. There are a lot of skull gems here from uh, metalheads. You can find like I don't. I think there's not a not not a limited number of them. You can. My head hurts. Yeah, that, I think that's how many you get after you get 125 skull gems. I, I think I may be wrong. But anyway, this is a tutorial for the jet board. You have to collect all of those. This is a tutorial. Nothing all that huge or something. You just collect them. I apparently can't drive because that happens. Anyway, I'm gonna. I, I can't forget this one. Let me get this one first because <laughs> I always forget this one first. I don't want to. I always forget that one, so I wanted to get that one first. But anyway, uh, yeah, you, you just have to collect them. It usually follows a passage. You just have to kind of follow a passageway. If you hold the L1 button, it leads you to high jump. So that's always good to know. And then find the lowest passageway that will lead you. That's right here. There is a part you can fall, so watch out. <laughs> and then there is grinding in the game, so it's the same exact controls from the first. I can't aim. I have died here all the time, every time I did this. But of course, you know the grinding hole, the square one when you do this shit. <laughs> there are the holes right there. Don't fall into them or you will die, so don't fall into them. I do that a lot. So don't, don't do what I do. I mean, I'm trying to not be stupid, but again, I'm probably going to do that. <laughs> Did I just jump over that? Where to go, a hole! Holy shit! I jumped over that like a boss, but still, don't jump over that. Don't jump over that like I did. That was stupid. Don't do that. I was just trying to be a, ba a badass, even though I'm really not. See, that's how you—that's how you act like badassery at its finest. Cause you know, badassery at its finest. I'm a boss doing that shit. Not really. Don't ever rely on my stupidity. Seriously, don't ever rely on my own stupidity. And this is where I'm gonna die. That's the part where I always die. That is the one part I always die in. And I know this because that hole right there is annoying. <laughs> I always die there because there's that, that, that purple-blue yin-yang thing. 
It's always on the worst side of things. Always. And it bugs the shit out of me. Okay, yeah, I have to go there. Shit. You can swim here if you want. I don't know why would you, but you can. <laughs> but yeah, no, you have to go all the way around. It's. I think there's another way to get up there, but I don't think you should follow it. So just follow the regular way you did before. It's not that annoying, though. It's just I always screw up on that one part because the, the hole is freaking narrow. So, it, it's just me. I, I'm not the best at board. I don't think I'm bad with it. I just kind of suck with it. I try to be a total badass with it because I'm awesome that way. Not really. But, you know, I love to be a badass. I love to try and be a badass. What can I say? Ooh, nobody gives a shit. I'm awesome that way, guys. I'm awesome because you know I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm awesome, awesome sauce. There, see, this is the hole I was talking about. No, no, I, I like to play it safe and just skip that one. But it's just that that yin yang sign is right in the middle on that one, so it's easy to fall. That's what kind of sucks about it. I'm gonna see, are there any treasures here? I don't really know. I don't think there are. You could swim underwater if you want, see? But I don't think there's anything. I mean, I remember just checking out the place and I didn't see anything. And then I always miss this one that's right here in the beginning, so I wanted to get it first. So, yeah, there's this one that, like, troll you right here in the beginning, so be sure to get that one. <laughs> Likes to troll you, so just thought you guys should know. That's the exit, so there's a high jump you gotta do here, so be sure to keep that in mind. You gotta jump right here. There we go. See? You gotta jump right there. I think there are precursor orbs here. I think. I may be wrong. There might be just skull gems. We're gonna check. Cause you know, we let's check everything, cause we gotta do that. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they're just uh skull gems. Cause there are certain things in this game where there's like certain secret passageways and you might wanna do that. You might wanna make sure about everything. Am I fully healed? Yes I am, so I don't have to worry about it. If you find one of these things and you're and you and you have like a little bit of damage, just immediately use light regeneration. It's like the best thing ever. Seriously. You're all on health and you find one of those, heal yourself right away. Just saying, cause uh I think that's a smart idea if you're low on health and you and there those things you'll find them in certain places. I think mostly after before a boss, I think. I don't think so though, because the bosses here are very scarce, so I don't know. That might be a thing that I might have said wrong, but I don't rely on memory. But if you, but in other words, you find one of those light things, you lo you don't, you have a missing health, just re light regeneration, just do it. It's a good idea. We meet again, Great Warrior, but sadly your coming may be too late. You will soon meet the seed of our downfall. It approaches quickly, and I fear we no longer have the power to resist. Behold, the pure power of light. We offer what little we have in this dire moment. And now we have Light Jack Flash Freeze, or you know... Or you know, uh, Time Break in Sonic and the Secret Rings done right, like this. And it freezes time. This part's a little tricky and easy to fall off of. So, like that. You, it's easy to fall off this one because you can't tell the time limit. So if you screw up this one, it's fine because it's easy to screw this one up. Because <laughs> the time limit is not very accurate with this one. <laughs> I won't lie. I got lucky there. You can remain in light, Jack, if you want. I don't think it wastes. Which I'm gonna do. You can't roll long jump, though. So, yeah. And also, when you're in this pose, you can notice that Jack is using is doing this monk pose, and I think if you look at it, Jack Daxter has this like weird like thing that he likes to do, like hehehe, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. No, I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, I like this pose. It looks like one of the monks that the kind of thing, and it's kind of neat. I kind of like it. He does that pose when he's in light Jack form. You can stick in light Jack form for as long as you want. I think I'm not sure for how long you can stay in this form. Okay, I'm out of light jack form. I thought I was just kind of showing something off, but I ran out of life form, so. That was kind of stupid. 
But whatever. I was kind of wanted to show something off. I thought that I had to use a life form or something there, but I wasn't paying attention. Don't fall here, you will die. Jump here, grind, blah, 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 blah. The whole, the usual bullshit. Watch out, that shadow looks like it looked like a hole, which it was. So, yeah, don't, don't die. I'm <laughs> just saying, don't die. There's another hole right out there, don't fall. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> okay, now here's where you use light to so. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I always forget this part. This part's not that bad. Unlike the, the the pedestals, this part's easy to pass by. It really is. <laughs> you could probably do it as regular Jack, too, I think. I may be wrong with that answer, though. I may be completely wrong with that answer. I won't lie. But again, you can remain alive, Jack, for as long as you want. Really doesn't matter. Which I'm gonna do that, because I just don't care! And plus, I like Light Jack. It's re I love Light Jack. Light Jack is like the one of the best things in the Jack series ever. Literally. Also, I noticed this, but when you use a uh, Light Jack's uh if you lose if you use a gun or you can use a gun with Light Jack, which I will show you guys in just a moment once I get through this. Um what happens, there is a negative towards it, which I will show you guys. I'll wait till this wears off. But see, you can take the gun out, and if you notice it, you should kind of see it. When you start shooting, the gauge should start going down every time you shoot. See, when you shoot, the gauge will go down. So every time you shoot, the light gauge will go down like you're being evil. You kind of see it. It's kind of weird, though. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it does that, but you can shoot with light, Jack. But the light gauge goes down for some reason. It doesn't really explain, though. Don't know why it doesn't explain. It's kind of weird. Now this, uh, do use light jack, because I don't think you might pass by here without it, so. Because <laughs> these things will go down really fast, and you know, that ain't fun, right? You know, that ain't fun, right? <laughs> it's still easy to cross, though. Um, okay. New room. Never been here before. Let's see what's up. It looks just like the catacombs we saw in Haven City. But where do they go? There you are. Ah, oh, I'm so squawking happy I found you. Look! Jack got his seal back. And it opens doors. Onan says we must get back to Haven City. She says the catacombs are the key to the planet's very survival. You boys up for a little ride? Alright, this can get kind of annoying. Here's another kind of hidden mission during the temple you can do. It's a little annoying, I won't lie, a little bit. But if you know what you're doing, you should do fine. At least you should. It's not that bad, though. It's a lot better, like, like I said, it's still a lot better than a lot of the Jack 2 missions. I won't lie there. But, it's not bad for me. But what I, there's a strategy I like to do. You drive on this, and you have a health bar. There is, you cannot hold the button, though. If you hold the button, it will not work. So, see, I'm holding the button, it does not shoot. So you gotta tap it. What I like to do is, I like to hold the R1 button with, like, two fingers. My middle and my second index finger. That's what I like to do. It taps really fast, though, and I like to do when I do that. Now watch out for holes, because if you fall into a hole, you will die, so watch out for that. These things will try and shoot you, so watch out for that. See what I mean? Uh, I'm not great at this. But yeah, well, you, well, a good idea is to try to shoot, shoot as much as you can. This will tire out your fingers if you're bad, like I am, so... <laughs> but when you see one of those little red things that are coming around... <sighs> seriously. <laughs> anyway, uh... I'm not paying attention. I'm kind of trying to talk while I do this. I usually don't play this one while talking, so... But yeah, you control with the left. You can go upside down if you want, which I don't recommend unless it's necessary. You see one of those red things? Tap it as fast as you can, because those things will shoot, like, bombs at you, I think. I don't remember. I never had it happen, but I think they shoot, like, really bad things, and I can never see the holes. I'm sorry. It's really not that bad. I just suck at this kind of thing.
Now, like I said, I would suggest not using one finger, but using two index fingers to shoot, to shoot. Don't just use one, because if, if no, you will lose control. There is a strategy that does show that kind of helps you with uh, driving. Like, if you see lights, then it'll help you, like, see where the holes are. But sometimes it's not the easiest thing. It can be really hard. So you don't go upside down like what I just did. The lights will indicate, don't get shot by the electricity. Those will do a lot of damage for some reason. See what I mean? Those things are going to shoot bombs at you, so destroy them right away if you can. Oh, okay, I did decent. Bombs away! You show promise, but your bravery will not protect you from the foes you must soon face. Use this light power to help in your quest. It is what little we have left to offer. And now we have another light jack ability that's pretty good if you use it. Ah, uh, this is probably my least favorite jack bill light ability in the game, but it's not a railing at the wind. Huh. But it's not a bad ability. Some people use it. It's a shield. I don't know if you can walk while doing it, though. Oh, yeah, you can. You just move and walk. It's good if you want to protect yourself, which it can be. Like I said, it can be good, but... I don't use it much. I don't know, I never found it, like, all that, like, needful to use it. I never had any problems, like, like, oh my gosh, I need it or something. I don't think there's anything in this room, but if there is, uh, I might not be coming back here because, yeah. I don't think there's anything in here, so I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, I looked around everywhere here in my, la in my regular playthrough, and I couldn't find anything, so... Yeah, we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. Anyway, we're here now, and what is this? Where are we going? We just, you just follow Pecker. He'll lead you the way. Light Jack again. If you have low health, just heal it. As usual. Now we're at a certain cool place. It looks like some kind of old eco mine. When Mar built Haven City, he must have carved out these old caves to get at the eco power. Sheesh. That Mar guy must have never slept much. I'm going ahead to tell Onan we're back. Watch your tail feathers, Jack. This is a spooky place. Sorry about that. I just wanted to turn off the air, the turn off the air or the heater because it's cold and it was hot in here. But anyway, here we are at the at the eco mine, and this place is awesome. First of all, listen to the music. Enough of the music. It's awesome. I love the music here. It's really good. I even put it on my favorite video game music list. So, anyway, don't use your revol your reflector here. Uh, you can. I mean, kind of doesn't matter. But I like to just use a blaster. You shoot this thing, and cr I think you have to cross it right away. I may be wrong though. How did you guys shoot me, bastards? Oh wait, no, it doesn't go down. Okay, I thought it went down. Never mind. My bad. I thought it I, it was another thing. I'm sorry. My bad, guys. My bad. I ain't perfect at this game. Okay. I'm not the greatest. I'm probably one of the worst players of this game. But I still have fun. I like to play the game. It's enjoyable. It's a fun time. I love it. And I love this area. It's pretty cool. Again, you fall, you die. So don't fall. Just saying. But anyway, do kind of keep lowering the, bl the bridges. That'll be important. I know it seems like it's easy to get lost, but it's actually pretty, like... Like, it's self-explanatory where you have to go. You just follow the passageway. 
Even though there's no map that leads you to anything, you follow the passageway and it should lead you to where you have to go. And now this one. Pay attention here. This elevator, pay attention. You see that? And jump on it right away, because that will flip over on you. You do not want that happening. Just saying. That elevator, if it goes down like that, pay attention. Don't don't just goof around like that. Do pay attention, because uh, that'll fall on you. <laughs> I know this. I have that experience, and it's bad experience with this. Let's just say that much. Anyway. Let me just move the mouse here. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. Do some more exploring, shall we, guys? Let's see what else we can explore. Anything missing here? I like the eco mine. It's very enjoyable. I love exploring this place. It's really fun. Like, extremely fun. It's really probably one of my favorite areas in the game. It's not, like I said, there's one more area I like more than this and the temple. But I still enjoy it. It's still very enjoyable. Again, pay attention, because this bridge will go down again. See? Sorry, I thought it was supposed to aim on something, but I wasn't paying attention. So, yeah, my bad. It's fine, though. Hey, bastards, go away! Ugh. You guys like to really ambush me, don't you? Assholes. Sheesh. Assholes. You know what? No. Third class. Why not? It's easy to get it's easy to get dark jack in this game anyway, so I'm gonna use them more in this game than past games. Just saying. Nothing over here? Yep, I like to explore this place. I really do. So, sorry if you guys are seeing me doing nothing here, but I like this place. Me like this place. I like to enjoy this place a lot. It is fun. It is enjoyable, and I like it. Me like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone who likes me, do who thinks I'm boring doing this, but it's enjoyable. I'm sorry. Anyone else here? Nope. Let's restock. Even though it's restocking things I don't really need. I'm sorry, I like jumping around. It's fun. What can I say? It's fun. I don't have anything. Shit. I thought I had a little bit of dark power. My bad, guys. My bad. I don't pay attention to, to the gauge. <laughs> there is one a little bit of annoying part here, which is coming up right now. I think, oh. Good thing I saw that. Sorry, it's not this part, it's probably the next one. Like I said, you guys are gonna see me use that thing a lot. I'm sorry. You guys are gonna see me use the dark reflector a lot. I love this thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. I love the reflector. It's awesome. And I love doing this. I'm sorry. I just do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, the Vulcan Fury is also good, but I barely ever use it. And the Blaster is just the worst version of the Reflector. So why would I use the Blaster unless I was trying to waste less? So what's the point of that? Uh, what's the point of that? I'm sorry. I just love the Reflector. I love it. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I just do. I love it. <laughs> it's my favorite gun in the game. It's awesome. I love it how it bounces and stuff and beastly and stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the annoying part. Yeah, this is the annoying part right here. I mean, it's not that bad, but I... It's, it's like... Kind of annoying. I'm <laughs> just saying, it's kind of annoying. I'm just saving some ammo now and getting some more, so that's why I did that. Anyway, there are these little guys here. Punch him into these things, and they'll create a bridge. 
That's what they'll do. They're like little, like, foxes kind of thing. I'm not sure what they're called. I'll probably look it up and let you guys know later. <laughs> you serious? What can I say? I love this thing. I'm sorry. I should probably use Dark Jack since I have full ammo now and save the reflector because I'm probably gonna run out of it eventually and I don't want to I don't want that because I really like the reflector the reflector I call it the reflector I know it's called the reflector but I call it the reflector because I think it that's what it does these things attack you for some reason um so they do die after a certain number of hits so don't try to like kill them like overkill them but just try to get them in that treadmill they get, it does get a little bit tricky at certain points. So watch out for that. Hey, no, 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 no. I want the reflector. Give me my reflector, bitches. But seriously, with the, with the new light jack regeneration, really, you should have no problems whatsoever with healing. Really, you shouldn't. <laughs> If you do, then that's fine. It's probably your first time in the game, which is totally fine because it is possible. This game does have some pretty annoying parts, I won't lie. Like I mentioned, it oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my computer for a second. Um, but yeah, try not to kill them. They will die, but they'll just regenerate. So it's no big deal if you do kill them, but you know, it would be not. It would be fun to not do. <laughs> See what I mean? They they die. How did I kill? <clears throat> you kidding me? How did that happen? There we go, I got it in. How did that happen? This one is stupid. This one I used to die in a lot. Don't do that, don't die here. I used to die in this part a lot because of the platforming, how it's done here. Don't fall, just wait until the platform reaches and then jump. Don't just get cocky, because it's easy to get cocky here. Very easy to get cocky. So don't just go jumping around like a crazy maniac. Unless you feel like you can, then go ahead, but don't do it. Again, unless you feel like you can, then go right ahead. Be a crazy maniac, but I would not suggest it. Jeez, you guys just come out of nowhere sometimes. Oh, there's three of you. Also, don't die, because the checkpoint here is a little bit annoying. Not as bad, though, as Jack 2's, but a little annoying. I won't lie there. Little bit annoying. Little tiny bit annoying. Just don't die or you will have to start from the beginning. Don't die for whatever reason. I just wanted to waste that. I really just wanted to waste that. Anyway, let's see. But yeah, out of all the, in this part, this is probably the only kind of annoying part, but it's really not that bad. It really is. Just saving the wave buzzer. I mean, uh, just saving the uh, reflexor. What can I say? Gotta save my best ammo for a reason. Now this part's super kind of stupid. Uh, well, first get rid of these guys first. Yeah, you gotta go up and get rid of these guys first. That kind of sucks. It's fine. It's fine. See what I mean? I got Dark Jack so easily again. It's crazy. But anyway. Anyway, you gotta kind of get them to follow you up this ladder. Don't kill them. Don't attack them, because then they'll try to hurt you. Just, I think you only have to leave one of them, but what I, you have to lure them. You have to kind of, like, let them follow you, because once, because once they follow you, they'll try to attack you. They, even though they're not really all that dangerous, they'll try to follow you. They're like little rabbits thing. I don't know. It's strange. <laughs> kind of strange. They look like, well, they're part of probably the Jack and Dexter universe, so they're probably like rabbit things. I'll put a text to what they are, I guess. But anyway, yeah, we've reached it. No problems whatsoever.
and haven't retrieved more armor. And you know what that means. More health. Uh, explorer. Uh, don't know what that means, but okay. Haha, <laughs> seems legit. That was a joke. I know what an explorer is. I'm just making a lame-ass joke. Oh, yeah. Be sure to look around here. Because be sure to collect everything you can here. I don't think there are any precursor orbs here. I don't think so. I may be wrong, but I don't think so. Because you won't be coming back here. <laughs> I don't think you will. But I'm just exploring just to be on the safe side. Just again, you might not come back here. So, yeah. Get everything you can. Just slink. Get everything you can. And there's a lever here. Should we press a lever? Ooh, it's a lever. Who wants to press it? I do. limit here. Do you want to know the right tip for this? Just freaking use the reflector throughout the whole thing. Like, just freaking use the reflector. You see enemies, use them. Just follow a passageway. Just follow the same passageway. But seriously, use the freaking reflector. It's like genius. You probably just use it and it'll be fine. You can get the jet board if you want. Which I will in a moment. Uh, yeah, I'm fine here. Let's go. Whee! And yeah, here's where it's, here's where it ends. So yeah, again, use a freaking reflector again. Just just use it. It's like the best thing in this mission. Seriously, the reflector is like your is like totally broken for this mission. Like it's totally broken, and I love it. I don't care how broken it is. It's awesome. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy shit! I thought I was gonna fall. I wasn't paying attention to that. I shouldn't not goof off. I was, I'm I'm goofing off. I'm sorry. But this is so much fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not missing anything here. Okay. I got the cart following me. Kind of doesn't matter. You can probably just spam it. You should be fine. But I don't know. How much do you want to bet? Sometimes... Yeah, see, look. The second throws. Because with the freaking uh, reflector, you can bullshit. Look, say 48 seconds. Because it hits on a random place. So it can kind of like just catch up with no problems whatsoever. So you can kind of just bullshit your way through this with a reflector. As long as you're following a passageway. Like, holy shit. This makes this mission, like, so easy. This mission is so freaking easy because of this. Seriously. The reflector makes this mission easy as shit. <laughs> this mission is easy. Like, really, really easy. And there we go, we did it. See, that mission is so easy. Even with that time limit, with the freaking reflector, this mission is a joke. Holy shit, this mission is a freaking joke. Uh, bombs on a train, like bombs away. Oh, lame joke is lame. Oh, but seriously, it's broken. Seriously, freaking broken. Just freaking use the reflector throughout that whole thing and you'll do fine. <laughs> I mean, I made that look like a freaking joke. Which it is a joke. Not gonna lie, it's a freaking joke. <laughs> With the reflector, it's a freaking joke, that mission. All you gotta do is just follow the passageway and just use a freaking reflector and you beat the mission like this. Gosh. Like I said, I made that mission look like a freaking joke. <laughs> uh, but I like that mission. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Now I'm just goofing off. I'm just goofing off throughout the whole thing. <laughs> you know, it's fun to goof off. It's fun to goof off in this in this in eco mines. It just is. It's fun. Nothing wrong with having a little goof off. Anyway, what do we got here? What's going on here? The monks told me you were coming through the Precursor subrails. Interesting, aren't they? 
The precursors used them to build the world countless eons ago. The rail system leads deep into the planet, where it's said the Ancient Ones wait to bestow unimaginable powers upon the worthy. I will save the world with that power, just as Ma did. Yeah, you've done a great job so far, letting the Metalheads destroy the palace. Oh, you couldn't be more mistaken, dear boy. We're on a time clock, Jack. That light in the sky, do you know what it is? Our nightmare has found us, and the end is coming. I needed quick access to the catacombs below, so I attacked the palace myself. It will be our little secret. Well, you're full of surprises. And you're full of dark eco! Hashtag you racist. Your rat are an abomination. But I will rid the planet of this scourge soon enough. Pure light will rule the universe, and I will be the bright light that shines to every corner of the world and destroys all shadows! Uh, excuse me, Count Volga. It's Vega! Yeah. Whatever. Isn't it kind of nice just to curl up in the shade sometimes? Just chilling it, watching the hot babes prance around in their skimpy little bikinis. You know, just how they jiggle. You have a massive erection. Really? <laughs> yes, I do. Um, I'm sorry, it's the... It's the pleats. I get that special tingling feeling in my tail. Enough! We will stop the cleansing of the world with your demise. Behold, I now command the very power of the Ancient One! And this time, the precursors will not have mercy on you. Okay, first of all, they threw a boner joke. What? <laughs> Why'd they throw a boner joke in this game? Gosh. <laughs> it was that wasn't appropriate. But okay. But anyway, yeah, this is the first boss, I guess you could say. Uh he's not hard. I mean all you gotta do is just get rid of the guys. He will shoot lasers on his first stage and just shoot guys. Again, just use whatever wave concuss or the reflexor, kinda doesn't matter. Then he will summon these! Don't touch the lasers or you will take damage. So just follow a certain passageway. Wait till they cool off. If you can jump to the second one or the third one, he's gonna try and aim for certain things. Like, he'll shoot randomly, but sometimes I cannot jump for crap. And then you use the Vulcan barrel to shoot those things. You shoot those at the target it indicates. He's gonna get harder, so yeah, watch out. But that's obvious for every boss. Jump. Oh, sorry, I was trying to put away the gun. My bad. <laughs> anyway, I'm good. This this boss is still easy. Again, do whatever. I like to use the reflector again. You can use the wave concussor, it still works, but the reflect the reflector kills them a lot easier, so I like to use the reflector a bit more for this one. I'll take the third one. Usually jump on the third one, because you shouldn't have problems reaching it. I don't think you should. You can also use the Reflexor to hit those, but it takes longer, so use the Vulcan Fury. Or use the Vulcan Barrel. Now he gets a little hard here. He's gonna start shooting really fast, so yeah, I'll watch out. Then he's gonna shoot two lasers when he jumps on like this, so watch out for that too. <laughs> and he's gonna watch out, he's gonna do a third one. And, uh, and then the next guys here are a little harder, so watch out for that as well. Again, do whatever. I like to do the reflector again, so yeah. Wave Concussor is also good if you want to use that. But I I don't think he's hard, really. <laughs> Let me look at this. I'm kind of just... What? I, I lost balance. My bad. And there we go, we won. No problem whatsoever. Oh yeah! The boys are back in town! Let's go topside and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Oh Jack, you bad boy. <laughs> uh, I wasn't being perverted for any reason, just, just saying. Anyway, the Arc Welder. This thing a lot of people love. 
shoots electricity like boss. Holy shit. It's really good. I won't lie. It's really good. And if people like to put this at their favorite weapon, I can understand why it's one of my favorites, but the reflexor is still much better for me. I'm sorry. It's good. It's not a bad weapon. For whatever reason, the arc welder is not a bad weapon whatsoever. Not even a little bit bad. It's great. I just prefer the reflexor more. But I, I will use the arc welder every now and then. But you'll see. It's a great weapon. If you like the arc welder, that is totally fine. It's a great weapon. A very, very great weapon. So no worries. It's just, I'm being biased. <laughs> I like the reflexor because I think bouncing weapons are cool. Bouncing bullets are cool, so. Oh, what's this? Where are we now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh look, there's a face of Samos right there. Oh my gosh. See look, the arc welder shoots fairly greatly, and it's great. It really does work. If you wanna if you wanna farm for uh if you wanna farm for skull gems, this is the right place for you. Seriously. They won't stop coming to get you. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna do this one right here. Find this spot fast. Good luck. Because we're already at 40 minutes, so. Hey, where was it? Oh, there it is. Wait, no, that's not it. What am I doing? It's a little tricky, this one. I wasn't paying attention to where it was, so I'm just gonna bullshit. I wasn't paying attention to where it was, so my bad, guys. My bad. <laughs> that's what I get for not paying attention. Shuffle your feet again. Oh, sorry, I accidentally pressed the triangle button, but it didn't cancel. Okay, it's right behind that, with a red light. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know where that is. Hey, look, that's the way to the top building. Cool. Hey, look, free precursor orb, even though it's not the one I was looking for, but I still want it, so gimme. It's not the one I was looking for, but I'll take it. <laughs> the ones you're supposed to look for are kind of yeet. Are kind of yellowish kind. <laughs> that orange one was just kind of random. I just kind of saw it right there. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny to be honest. I think you could get it faster if I had the jet board. I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. It's good to explore a little bit though. So yeah, make sure to explore a lot of this place. Cause uh, yeah. And there are a lot of really random precursor orbs around here. So, yeah. <laughs> a lot of really random precursor orbs everywhere. Won't lie there. Hey. I don't remember where that one was, though. Got- Oh! Why did I bump into a freaking wall? Ugh. Rage quit, I'm sorry, I raged. But I found it, it's just that I bumped into a wall and raged. <laughs> Stop bumping into shit. Where the heck am I- I'm going around in circles, aren't I? Yep, that's what I get for running around in circles like a dumbass. Like I said, I don't remember where any of these are. I was just kind of just goofing off. Because, you know, I do that. I do that a lot. I like to goof, out, goof off. I do that shit. No, wait. That's the wrong way. I'm, I get nervous. This is nerve-wracking a little bit sometimes trying to find everything. Oh my gosh, stop it. Probably because I'm not paying attention to the map. I should probably pay attention to the map. Do that, because that's a good idea. Pay attention to the map. Don't do what I'm doing, which is being stupid. Oh my gosh, go away. Seriously, these guys are everywhere. There it is, I got it. I'm not done yet, though. Seriously, can you guys leave me alone? <laughs> Seriously, they're gonna keep spawning, so you can do whatever the hell you want and, and farm for skull gems if you want. But seriously, go the fudge away, you guys. You guys are bugging the shit out of me. 
Dude, you guys are nuts. Go away. <laughs> Ugh. There's another one here. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna end the part because it's already 45 minutes. Here's a really tough one. Find this one and I'll be impressed. Oh, I got a grind up there. Now, if only I remembered where it was, though. I have to grind up there, but I don't remember where it was because I can't see it. Oh, wait, wait, I remember now. Wait, I just I remembered. Think you could do this one. It's not hard, I just forgot, but now I know where it is. I just realized it. Because with the nighttime system here, it can be tricky to read. You have to jump on that one. But with the nighttime system here, it can be a little tricky to see. I just saw it. It's right up there. It just can be a teeny, teeny bit tricky to see. Because it's nighttime. And then there's lightning going on here. If it was daytime, this is a lot easier to see. There we go. I'm not impressed. But then again, I'm a tough audience. Hey, look. That's Torn. I could have sworn that's Torn's voice. That's weird. That's weird. Oh look, there's another precursor oil right there, but I need to jump. I need to j get to the other side to get it. There are a lot of random precursor orbs everywhere. <laughs> like, holy shit. That's why I might not get them all, because they're everywhere. That could be hard to find and shit. So, I'm not gonna get them all, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh, stupid asses. Look at this, scorpions only do one damage, which isn't so bad, but, you know. Never fun to take any damage from anything. They're gonna keep spawning, so no matter what you do, you're gonna just keep on, you're just running around in circles. So it doesn't matter what you do, you're just gonna keep on getting spawned and stuff. And then the metalheads with the bright yellow ones will drop the skull gems, so. Yeah! Keep that in mind. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Anyway, I wanted to get to that part. I want to see if there's anything else I can get here in the meantime on the way there. There's another precursor orb floating right there. It's very easy to confuse them with the lights. So, it can be easy to confuse them with the lights. I'm just... Go walking on the way there in the meantime. I will end it right when we get to it. I mean, it's 47 minutes. I will probably end it in a moment. But there's this other precursor orb I'm seeing right up there. Uh oh. Don't don't do first person here. I just saw another precursor orb here. I'm gonna try and get as many as I can, but I can't make any promises that I'm gonna get them all. Because, uh, like I said, they're a pain in the ass to get. Some of them are a big pain in the ass to get. I won't lie. Like that one up there. I think I need to do some kind of trick to get up there. Which I'll figure it out later, I guess. I think I have to climb up something. But there's another trick I know how to get up there if I ever come back here. So, yeah. I never, don't ever use a scattergun for any reason. Because it kind of sucks now. But anyway, yeah, I think we're done here. We're gonna, I'm gonna end things off here. Oh yeah, and the block boxes are blue here. So next time in Let's Play Jack 3, we'll be, I guess, taking on or seeing uh, what that Samo sign is. Might be something important. So, this has been Angel Star 291 saying goodbye. Well, hang on, let me heal up real quick. <laughs> Won't be great if I don't heal up. Okay, so yeah. This has been Angel Star 291 saying goodbye and see you guys in... Uh, in a part of uh, part seven, yeah, part seven.